Just months ago, SBF and FTX were swooping in to save the industry. Voyager Digital was one of the companies that FTX successfully bid on in their bankruptcy. Now, Binance US is planning to bid for the bankruptcy of Voyager Digital, according to a source. Uh, you know, I just I remember us talking about FTX as this as this white knight in the media, this savior. And and Zach, I say this every day on the show. We said, should one man have all this power? And now the companies that FTX were going in to save and prop up are once again looking for some capital to stay alive. So Binance is back in the running. They're bidding on Voyager. Voyager's token, VGX, jumped as much as 50% on Coindesk's report. George, I'm kicking it off to you. Is CZ and Binance achieving that, that power? Are we putting CZ and Binance on that same pedestal that we put SPF and FTX on just six months ago? Mm, did Sir, CZ is certainly trying to, right? For the love that, for all that is holy, don't become the main character, CZ. I don't want to depend on His Excellency Justin Sun to come s to save us when you fall from grace. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you want to become the hero in crypto. You should just let things crash and burn. You know, Binance has a token too, and it's way bigger than FTT was. And CZ has a lot of money, and he has a pretty big vested interest in all of this being okay. I guess that's a complicated issue. Uh, you know, Voyager might have assets tied up in FTX U US. Those might be locked up in trust. Um, there are just general questions. So back to your point, there are general questions. If this is a free market, I guess we could have heroes, right? I don't know what Rockefeller was doing back in the day, but when he was doing this standard oil stuff, was he bailing out these companies or was he just like tanking them to tack them onto his own business? I, I don't know. What I do think this shows to just take another thread here is it just shows how insular and contained crypto is you know there are there were at some point maybe last year around this time fears of broader contagion to the rest of the economy but i think this really just is proof that this is a crypto problem no one else is sweeping in to buy any distressed assets except for the crypto elites and for lack of a better term cz is probably the most elite of crypto guys out there i know zach anything that yeah, I wonder if this is part of the recovery fund that was announced um, the other day, right? These are certainly maybe projects that, uh, you know, ran afoul of a, of a streak of bad luck. And I'd be interested to see if, you know, an infusion of capital here or a takeover bid would bring them back to life. It does seem ironic that we're trying to make these um, formerly failed centralized financed uh, intermediaries kind of make them back into their former selves. When maybe the lesson of this whole thing is that, we shouldn't be doing that as an industry, right? We shouldn't be recreating a lot of these black boxes that have led to risky practices swept under the rug that ultimately lead to the downfall of many a business and sink the fortunes of many an investor. So I think like that is something to worth, is that something like worth asking? But I think ultimately at the end of the day, right, there are Voyager users who are, you know, in pain right now. They're, they're being parted with uh, their investments. And if it takes, um, you know, an industry giant to swoop in and provide some short-term relief so that maybe they can, you know, uh, mitigate their, you know, take next steps that are different from what got them in the situation this time around. Maybe that's a fine thing. And I think, I think it's worth being empathetic to those who are feeling the pain right now. Um, and not necessarily to, um, uh, you know, leap to the conclusion that this is necessarily a bad thing. So I'm suspending, uh, suspending judgment on this one. Going to be interesting to see if Voyager comes into the Binance fold because it would give, you know, Binance a nice piece in the crypto lending space that uh, heretofore has been a big pillar of the crypto economy. Definitely one to watch. Jen? Yeah, I'm just going to read this quote from the article. Binance's chief communications officer said that Binance is not looking to be the white knight of crypto. He said there are no Luke Skywalkers or Darth Vaders in business. This is a company with the most to lose as its market leader, looking around to see where we can help bolster the industry through a black swan event. And Zach, just to what you were saying, it reminded me of what Hester Peirce said at the beginning of their bear market, you know, we should actually just let these companies fall. I think that the industry will get better for it. George, you're absolutely right. I think that the industry is very incestual and contained. And I think that we could do with some diversity of thought, diversity of business experience, so that we don't see this happen again. I think, you know, it's great to have 
crypto experience. It's great to have Web3 experience. It's great to be friends and colleagues with everyone in this industry. But I think bringing in people who think differently and have different experiences could potentially help us mitigate some of the risks that we've seen during this market. George, I'm handing it off to you for last thoughts. Yeah, I think a lot of people have written about the idea where crypto is just doing all of the failings of traditional finance in hyperspeed, right? We had however many years between the Great Depression to whatever 2007 was, and we're just trying to do everything in that little tiny period for like, you know, the past year and a half, two years or so. Um, if we don't like the old financial system, then why are we creating crypto exchanges that then trade derivatives, which trade derivatives, which trade derivatives on top of each other, which is how, you know, 2007 happened. Why do we keep doing this? Is it because we need diversity of thought? I mean, do we need to have a bunch of 30 year olds running around and running and running these businesses? Or do we just, do we need gray hair in the space? Do we need more women? Do we need more minorities? Like, what do we need? I don't know, man. But anyway, I don't know the answer. Anyone have you. anything to add before I get, before I get angry <laughs> those about my Those piece? are all, those those are good, answers. solid rhetorical questions, George. That was fantastic. <laughs> Let's leave it there. The Let's leave those questions one. lingering in the ether and hopefully some answers will come back to us in some form.